Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to the inception, the debut, the beginning of Iconic Pro Wrestling. Where these 20 superstars you see right here, they are getting started on the road to glory. This is stage one of a three-stage tournament designed to figure out who deserves to be going for what championships. I'll explain everything as we go on, but right now these 20 superstars you see on the preview screen here, they will be competing in a 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal. So let's go ahead and get started. Coming out at number one, this man is a former new TNA X Division champion. This man is Trey Owens, ladies and gentlemen. And for all of you who remember Trey Owens' potential, man, you you got you got to think. Considering his battles with me in the past at New TNA, I, I got I to gotta give it up to Trey Owens. This man is the real deal. He is a thoroughbred. Trey Owens, absolute competitor. Trey Owens, I'm surprised to see him here. Well, actually, not really surprised to see him here at IPW. I'm more surprised to see him at number one. That's what I should be saying. But it's been done before. A man who has come out first in any sort of battle royal like this has always been able to capture victory. Trey Owens, ladies and gentlemen, an incredible talent, a lot of charisma, hailing from Houston, Texas. This man could have been a football star. He was a star running back and a star wide receiver in high school until he suffered an injury that would put him out of the game for good. So Trey Owens turned to his second love. He turned to wrestling. And you see how far he's come. Trey Owens has a lot of potential, though he's not able to move as fast as he used to move in high school. And whoa, buddy, you look at this. For those of you who are aware of who that is coming out at number two, you already know what's up. But for number two, ladies and gentlemen, this is Trey Owens' tag team partner. This right here is that good old boy himself, Jimmy Spade. Best friend of Trey Owens, lifelong friend, hailing from Houston, Texas as well. Spade was a farm boy, grew up on a farm, born and raised to do the right thing. Jimmy Spade is a good old boy who would never do any wrong. Jimmy Spade, ladies and gentlemen, he's a kind of old school type mentality wrestler. He's a brawler. He's as tough as nails. Even though he doesn't win as many matches as he should, or maybe, you know, that he wants to, I should say. Jimmy Spade, I swear, ladies and gentlemen, I await the day where Jimmy Spade finally wakes up and becomes the superstar that we all know he can be. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, you all know the rules of a 20-man over-the-top rope battle royal. You get thrown over the top rope. And if both feet touch the floor, you're eliminated. And we keep going until 19 men have been eliminated and only one is left standing. Now, seeing as this is a tournament, you think you get some points out of this. And yes, you do. The winner of this match will get six points to start their quest on the road to glory. The runner-up will get four points. The final six will get a guaranteed two points. So if you're Jimmy Spade and Trey Owens, you're fighting for survival, and that's what Trey Owens is already doing with that belly-to-back suplex. Looks like Trey Owens is already trying to get rid of his partner, Jimmy Spade, letting him know there is no love lost between them. It's every man for himself, and Spade fighting Trey Owens off. Not going to eliminate Jimmy Spade that early. Now Spade, oh my goodness. Nice maneuver there from Jimmy Spade. I don't know exactly what the name of that maneuver is just in technicality but I know it's been called the winning edge before but either way ladies and gentlemen we're already getting started and now we're out to number three one of our newcomers in IPW Tyler King this man has been making a name for himself in EDF and in new NAW but as it stands Tyler King ladies and gentlemen he is a great talent he's coming up the ranks and I gotta say he looks good he wrestles good. He was trained by none other than Evan O'Shea. So you already know that Tyler King is bringing the goods, especially when Evan O'Shea is one of the best technical wrestlers in the call scene today, if not the best. 
Now we see Jimmy Spade and Tyler King. Oh, this is interesting. Jimmy Spade looks like he's sort of working with Tyler King to eliminate Trey Owens. I believe that also just goes to show how Jimmy Spade, you know, acknowledges that Trey Owens is a big threat in his world. But out comes number four. And this man has known all around the call world a former CCL World Heavyweight Champion. Maybe the current, I don't know. But he still was the CCL Heavyweight Champion of the world. The current new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. This man has earned many accolades. You all know him as the future Brent Harvinator. And Brent, of course, looking to continue his success in IPW, where we will strive to show you the best talent to call all around the world. And if we don't have the best out of everybody, guess what? We're going to get it. Because in IPW, we strive for excellence. Now the road to glory, ladies and gentlemen, I want to explain that tournament real briefly. There's three stages to it. This is stage one. So in the next two stages, we're going to see guys competing for more points. Uh, if, if you have the most points, but wait a minute. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just getting interrupted here. This is the next man in. Speaking of Evan O'Shea, here he is. The uh, Vivian Verse or Wrestler of the Year for 2012. Evan O'Shea is a great talent. I'm happy to see him here in IPW. All five of these men have loaded potentials, although, you know, Brent Harvinator, you know he's here to pad his stats. You know he's here to continue the successful career he's had. I hope all five of these men in the ring, hell, I hope all 20 of these men have some form of success. But anyway, three stages where you will gain points. If you finish in the top eight of the leaderboard, ladies and gentlemen, you will go on to a tournament to compete for the... IPW Global Heavyweight Championship and now coming out at number six just to show you what kind of talent we have here this is a man making his debut here at IPW the younger brother of Loudon Styles the playmaker Dante Styles I don't know very much about Dante Styles ladies and gentlemen but I do know that Dante Styles is very unlike his brother you see as his brother has a deep respect for Japanese puro wrestling Dante Styles does not share that same respect Dante is as American as it gets not to mention here ladies and gentlemen Dante Styles is a bit of a troublemaker whereas Loudon Styles of course being the bigger brother more respectful calm and collected and wait a minute we have our first elimination of the match Evan O'Shea spin sending Jimmy Spade to the outside but that's okay Jimmy you got two more stages to go, and if you get a lot of points in those next two stages, you could finish in the top eight and be competing for the IPW Global Heavyweight Championship. The bottom 12, if you're eliminated in that bottom 12, don't worry, because the road to glory continues for you. You will be in a 12-man tournament, similar to the King's Road Tournament from Battle Pro for the IPW Legendary Championship. The IPW Legendary Championship does have something very special to it, but we can't reveal it right now. Let's just get back to the match. As these five men you see in the ring, Jimmy Spade being the first eliminated. Wait a minute, we got another one going over. Evan O'Shea is on a roll so far as Brent Harvinator sent to the outside. You got to think that's a shocking elimination there to see Brent Harvinator go this fast. But when you consider it was Evan O'Shea, it might not be that surprising. And out next, ladies and gentlemen, and I believe number seven, if I'm not mistaken, is Kalen Rogers. Kalen Rogers, of course, known all around the world. Just finally starting to get back in the call scene. You know, it's been a slow process for Kalen Rogers. He's had a long retirement, finally decided he was going to come back in, and I hope he stays for a while. This man is a former new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and man, you got to think, Kalen Rogers, he has a future, man. A future in IPW, that is, but as it stands, 
Dante, oh look at this! Dante Styles with possibly a big elimination. That's certainly to make some weights for the playmaker. Dante Styles eliminating Evan O'Shea. Wow! Talk about a way to make an impact. As of course, earlier you saw Trey Owens and Tyler King unsuccessful in eliminating Kalen Rogers. And out next, everybody knows this man. Wait a minute, oh excuse us ladies and gentlemen, excuse us for that uh, Super Bowl style blackout. This man you see right here is no young gun, but he's certainly a talented veteran. He is Smokey. Smokey, ladies and gentlemen, you all know him. At one point, he was as big as Danny Jackpot. He looks to finally be getting back in that groove that he was in years ago. Smokey, a veteran of the game. The man has been around for a long time, and Smokey is still as talented as ever, though he's not as fast, he's not as sharp as he used to be physically, but mentally, his mental instincts is what makes him one of the better talents all around the call world and it's what makes him of course a veteran he is adapted to the game now we see Tyler King and Trey Owens mixing it up Smokey trying to get Dante Styles out and speaking I was about to say something about Kayla Roger wait a minute Tyler King oh my goodness look at that as John Blackrose is making his way out to the ring Tyler King eliminates Trey Owens. Wow, and he eliminated him with style. That's that's a way to make a name for yourself. But as I was going to say, John Blackrose, a former world champion from EDF and URW, if I remember well, wrestled all around the world. John Blackrose, he rocks 311 a lot better than Kalen Rogers. No offense to you, Kalen, at all. But either way, we see Kalen now trying to eliminate Dante Styles. Smokey trying to get rid of John Blackrose. John Blackrose says, you're not going to get rid of me that quick. Kalen can't eliminate Dante Styles. And Tyler King, beautiful calf kick to Kalen Rogers. Now Tyler King from behind. Dante Styles mix it up with John Blackrose. Big clothesline there. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to mention, uh, there are five men in the ring a maximum that can be in the ring at one time in this type of battle royal is six. So when there's six competitors out, somebody better be throwing somebody over the top rope. And here comes Chris Core, ladies and gentlemen. I understand he's not coming out to call me maybe, but Chris Core said he wanted to try something a little different for IPW. And Chris Core, ladies and gentlemen, despite his bad press lately, is still a talented athlete. He's still got a good look to him. He's still very talented in the ring. And wait a minute, Dante Styles! This is surprising to me. John Blackrose already eliminated, but by Dante Styles at Chris. Whoa! Whoa, man, that's not going to do any good for Chris Core as he was eliminated quite early by Smokey, you saw there. But Smokey, I think that was his way of saying, don't pick a fight with the wrong motherfucker. Literally, I can imagine Smokey saying that as we saw Chris Core trying to do anything he could to eliminate Smokey, but Smokey quickly got rid of him, and now Smokey trying to get rid of Tyler King. Tyler King in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Kalen Rogers mixing it up with Dante Styles. Tyler King is out. No, Tyler King skins the cat. He's still in this. But Kalen Rogers trying to push Dante Styles over the top rope and out of the ring, does so, no Dante, hanging on by a thread, and Kalen pushing Dante Styles out of the ring, Dante Styles eliminated with two eliminations, what a great way to make an impression, an early impression for Dante Styles, that kid could be going places if he reigns himself in, now Smokey, look at this, eliminating Tyler King as Brian Davis, Former Call Young Lions Cup holder, the very first, and a former new WWE Intercontinental Champion making his way out. And Kalen Rogers! This is surprising. Bodies already flying out of the ring. Kalen Rogers cleaning house. Brian Davis in the ring is now Davis has a chance to make an impression to Kalen Rogers. 
but it doesn't look like he will. I, I, at least I don't think he will. I, I mean, no offense to Brian Davis, but you're in the ring with a proven main eventer. But Brian Davis, you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, he could be like Dante Styles and surprise us all. But Kalen Rogers looking to throw Brian Davis out, and he does. Wow. Thanks for coming, Brian Davis. You got to you got to hate the look Brian Davis has had here but Kalen Rogers absolutely cleaning house saying who's next? Oh. Let's see. Let's see Kalen Rogers fight his way out of this one. This is the loose cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, the loose cannon of call. Steven Santos, a man who very well should have been the world champion on WCW's Thunder brand. Steven Santos, a very dangerous athlete, a very resilient competitor. The man formerly had a great record over Bret Michaels. Of course, he is the first Asian, he was in NAW, the first Asian-born superstar and the first Asian-born champion. So Steven Santos, right now, ladies and gentlemen, trying to make a big impact, trying to go ahead and get rid of Kalen. Show him this is my ring, but Kalen, Looks like he might have been calling for a timeout, but Steven Santos responds to that timeout with a knee trembler. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, stage one, this is just an introductory stage. As we're going to see all 20 of these superstars in more competitive matches in the next two stages. But even then, this is very competitive for them. As now look at this. Speaking of competitive in these battle royals, here comes a man who recently won the EDF Universal Heavyweight Championship in this type of battle royal. LaMarcus Carter, the money maker as he likes to call himself. LaMarcus Carter, a very talented athlete, a veteran of this game, a multiple time world heavyweight champion from WCW mainly has some success in new WWE very limited success but LaMarcus Carter you gotta like his look ladies and gentlemen even though it reminds you of a certain paragon of virtue but you gotta like the chances that a LaMarcus Carter has in this match is Steven Santos going to the outside no Santos skins the cat He's still in this for now. Kalen and LaMarcus trying to work up on Santos, and they do, it looks like, oh yes! Kalen Rogers adding another elimination. I believe he's at four or five. I'm not very sure that. I am not very sure, he, he, he might be at three. Either way, Kalen Rogers making a big name for himself here as out to, next to the ring, one of two Battle Pro representatives who joined the IPW roster. This is TJ Kennedy, ladies and gentlemen, and TJ Kennedy was exclusively signed to a contract after we saw his um, performance against Arcan in the Kings Road Tournament. TJ Kennedy certainly looks like he has the skills to pay the bills. Looks like he could be going places if he catches himself on that right streak. TJ Kennedy do not underestimate this man. His record may not speak for itself, but the man is a great talent. He is very, very talented in that ring. One of the best technical wrestlers in Battle Pro today, and I'm glad to see that some of that great talent on Battle Pro is making its way over here. And speaking of Battle Pro, here's that other Battle Pro representative I was talking about, a man who is officially signed to the IPW roster. This man is Marcus Black from, or Marcus Black, excuse me. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Excuse that. I'm just so excited right now to see that somebody from Blackout 2.0 is on the roster. This is Marcus King. Excuse me. Marcus King, ladies and gentlemen. And Marcus King, he may not look like much, but I guarantee you Marcus King has a potential. He has a future waiting for him in this business and in Battle Pro. You don't believe me now, but trust me, Marcus King is willing to make you all see. In fact, all 40s men are, because all 40s men are still fighting to get in that final six, but it's still a long way to get there. Now Marcus King, Carter, and Marcus Carter, Marcus King mixing it up, and now look! 
The next man out, Inspector Shetty. He is from NESC. Hadn't really had much success, but it's interesting to see Inspector Shetty here. Sort of veteran of the game. And I do have to mention, though, Inspector Shetty was in WCW and in DCWL before, if I remember correctly. And Shetty, as Sultan Shetty, I, I, I got to say, it's surprising to think that Shetty, once before, had a great record over call legend Danny Jackpot. That's no, that's no, that's no messing around because I do remember it very well. Inspector Shetty did have a winning record over Danny Jackpot. That is very impressive, even if you know, might not have been the cleanest of circumstances. But either way, Inspector Shetty looking to make a name for himself. And wait a minute. That's Craig David, I noticed there, ladies and gentlemen, but he's sporting a brand new attire. And I'm being told from the back that Craig David has asked to be referred to as Superstar Craig David. And I can see why already. You got a theme like Jesus Christ Superstar. You better be making a name. But LaMarcus Carter making an elimination on Inspector Shetty. Shetty sent to the outside. And I'm looking at my uh, list of entrants here, ladies and gentlemen. I've also paid attention that after two more eliminations, we will be on our final six. So if you're Keith Ponner, Loudon Styles, and Zack Starr, you got to be thinking confidently. You got to be sitting pretty. You got to be thinking, you know, you're the fresh man in the match, and you have a great chance of making the final six just by sitting in the back and doing nothing and resting on your laurels. That means whoever makes the final six, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, will get a guaranteed two points. Runner-up gets four points, and of course the winner gets six points. And I'm pretty sure anybody who's in the final six is not stopping when they get two points. They're going to be going for. Uh, they're going to be going the distance. They're going to be going down the road to glory and making sure that they have a big security blanket to help them. And wait, T.J. Kennedy. Almost eliminated Craig David there, but superstar Craig David, excuse me. Superstar Craig David skins the cat, and out comes Zach Starr. And oh my goodness, what a beautiful maneuver from TJ Kenny. I don't know exactly what that was, but that was nice. Anyway, Zach Starr, ladies and gentlemen, a veteran of the game. Just like smoking away, but I think, you know, with Zach Starr's recent slump in the call world. He's coming to IPW with one reason as LaMarcus Carter is eliminated by Marcus King. Sent to the outside, I think Zach Starr though, back to, back to Starr for a minute. Starr is out to prove that, um, Starr is out to prove that he's still got what it takes. And I think Starr wants to sort of revive his career and become the main eventer I know he can be. Well, of course, there's a lot of talent in this ring who would have something to say against Zack Star about that. Now, Superstar Greg, Ta Greg, excuse me, I'm getting flustered up. I'm just so excited from seeing all these men in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Superstar Greg David mixing it up with Marcus King, Craig David, ladies and gentlemen. I'm being told he is going solo in IPW. No Ryan Nitro, so he won't be seeing the Michigan Blondes. Superstar Craig David, ladies and gentlemen, he's got great acumen. He's a very old school type wrestler, a very old school technical wrestler at that. The man believes he's one of the greatest talents in hell. When you come out with a theme like Jesus Christ Superstar, you better be backing your words up in the ring. And Craig David, ladies and gentlemen, far be it from me to say this, but Craig David looks like he could back it up. But we'll see. That's coming out right now with a brand new theme. Keith Connor. For those of you who are unaware about Keith Connor, he was an NESC mainstay. He was a very nice up and comer. One, one half of the longest reigning NESC tag team champions with yours truly. And TJ Kennedy going to the outside. TJ Kennedy eliminated. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means these five men you see in the ring here Keith Connor, Zach Starr. Marcus King, Superstar Craig David, and Kalen Rogers all getting a guaranteed two points along with Loudon Styles, who has yet to make his way out to the ring. But wait a minute, Superstar Craig David, this is a big elimination! 
as he gets rid of Kalen Rogers. Kalen Rogers eliminated quickly, ladies and gentlemen. That gets rid of the longest standing time by Kalen Rogers. What a great effort from Kalen. He lasted long enough to get him to the final six, and that's all that matters. Kalen Rogers walking away with a nice two points. You know he definitely earned them. Greg David with a hangman style neck breaker on Marcus King. Keith Connor mixing it up with Zach Starr right now. And wait a minute, Connor is in trouble. And Zach Starr sending Keith Connor to the outside. Keith Connor eliminated by Zach Starr. Guaranteed two points for Keith Connor. You know, you would have wished he would have done more. Keith Connor, one of the great talents from NESC, making his way over here. But you never know. This is just stage one, ladies and gentlemen. You can't really get a good measure out of stage one. But stage two and three will definitely be another chance for Keith Connor to show he has more talent than appears. Same goes for any of these 20 men. And now with the golden advantage in this match, a man who's getting a guaranteed two points as it stands. Loud and Styles and Craig David against getting the cat when Zach Starr had attempted eliminating him here. Marcus King with a suplex on Zach Starr. Craig David looks like he's waiting for Loud and Styles to get in the ring. And there it is. This is our final four, ladies and gentlemen. These four men all fighting for six points. Marcus King, Zach Starr, Loudon Styles, and superstar Craig David. Loudon, look at this. Oh my goodness, beautiful Uranagi on Zach Starr. Now Marcus King mixing it up with Craig David. Marcus King throwing Craig David to the corner. King doesn't look like he's in good shape though, but Marcus King! Thanks for coming, superstar Craig David. You made it to the final four, but unfortunately, you won't get four points or six points out of here. We are now down to our final three. Still a great effort from superstar Craig David, and that's okay. Just like Keith Connor, you have a guaranteed two points, and just like Kalen Rogers, you have a guaranteed two points. Both of those men and Kalen Rogers at that, and of course, again, like all other 20 superstars in IPW currently, they're all going to have a chance to get some more points and make an impact in these next two stages. It does not end here tonight for 20 superstars, but now we're down to our final three. We have Lamarc Lamarcus Carter, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm getting confused at names here. Just because Lamarcus, Marcus, you know. Marcus King, Loudon Styles, Zach Starr. Three impressive talents, and look at this! Hammerlock Lariat on Zack Starr by Loudon Styles. And I think if you're Loudon Styles and Marcus King, you work on Zack Starr, you work on the bigger threat in the match, because let, let's face it, out of these three men, Zack Starr has the experience factor. He has the edge in this. He knows exactly what he needs to do to get the job done. But right now, Loudon Styles and Marcus King just focusing on each other as you saw Loudon with that uh, shining big boot you just saw there and a cross arm neck breaker Loudon Styles on fire right now Zach Star trying to get Loudon from behind but Loudon looks like he might be doing the smart thing trying to get rid of Zach Star Zach Star is in trouble Zach Star about to get pushed over to the outside Zach Star hanging on by a thread and no Zach Starr with an elbow. Zach Starr is still in this. The last man eliminated here, of course, ladies and gentlemen, will get two points. And then the next two will either get four points or six points, depending on how they finish. It's still crucial for all three of these men, as I imagine. For all three of them, you want to win stage one. You want to get that good impression. And now Zach Starr with the big boot and loaded Styles sent over and out just like that. Whoa, my goodness. Now we're down to our final two. It's down to Marcus King. Doesn't look like he has very much left in him. And Zach Starr still raring to go. Kicks to the legs. And Zach Starr taking Marcus King down. And you see him right now. Zach Starr very confident, poised to say, look, I'm about to win this. You watch. Marcus King in trouble. 
against the ropes. Zack Starr trying to get Marcus King out of here and make sure Marcus King has no fight left in him. He does over and out. And that is it. That is all she wrote for stage one, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner, Zack Starr. And Zack Starr received six points. That is a great advantage for Zack Starr, ladies and gentlemen. A huge advantage to have six points. That means so long as Zack Starr doesn't royally screw up, he will be sitting pretty when it comes to this tournament. He looks already poised to make the final eight and compete for the IPW Global Heavyweight Championship. We'll go ahead and take a look at our standings and confirm it, ladies and gentlemen. As you see, Zack Starr sitting comfortably in the lead with six points. Marcus King not too far behind him. He gets four points for being the last man eliminated, being the runner-up. Loudon Styles, Craig David, Keith Connor, Cameron Rogers all get two points for being in the final six. Congrats to these six competitors for getting points. That's all the time we have for stage one. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you for stage two. Stay tuned for IPW.